new for 2078. PlayStation 9's new electronic spores tap straight into your adrenal gland. PS9 has improved retinal scanning. A mind control system. A holographic movie surround vision. And telepathic personal music. The ultimate just got better. PlayStation 9. Teleport yours today. Yeah, that was a launch commercial for uh, <laughs> the PlayStation. Oh, shit. Oops. Wrong one. Yeah, that was the launch commercial for the PlayStation 2. No joke. Uh, let's go ahead and get the presentation on. Okay. So the PlayStation 2 released in Octo uh, October 20th, 2000, and it was actually a pretty big console, one of the biggest selling of all time, actually, 155 million units. Now, what people don't realize about this console was that it was actually a rush job. Uh, let me put it to you this way. This console... To dumb it down a bit, how powerful this console was, this had a 10-core processor in it. <clears throat> okay? This, it's, it's not exactly 10 cores, it's like 10 processors, but it's basically a 10-core processor, okay? You know what a 10-core processor goes for nowadays? Like 277 bucks. That's how much this, co that's almost as much as the console costs. Okay? Um, now, why did it have a 10-core processor? Okay, well, long story short, they wanted to beat the Dreamcast that bad. I'm not kidding. Like When, when uh, Sega showed off the Dreamcast and how good it was, they wanted to beat it that bad because they knew that Sega actually went up against Nintendo and damn near beat them. And they didn't want to have any competition with them, so they wanted to put them out of the business as much as they possibly could. So they basically made a supercomputer into a console. <laughs> Literally, this thing, this thing is nuts. <clears throat> Does it mean the console's bad? Not really. It still is a good console. The only problem is uh, the optical drive is actually the um, the biggest faulty of this console. I had four of them. <clears throat> okay, first one died in three months. Second one died in seven months. The third one lasted two years, but then it started to putter a little bit. And then my brother and I went on. We got the slim model, and we've been happy ever since. <clears throat> In fact, if you're going to get a PS2, get, get, get the slim model. <laughs> Don't get the thick one. I know the thick one looks cooler and all that, but trust me. Unless you want to replace the laser in it, which is the biggest issue, the laser for the optical drive, don't get the thick one. Just get the thin one if you want to do that. But the console did go on to be a big seller, even though it didn't sell that many units at launch. Seriously, the Dreamcast sold a half a million units at launch. PS2, only 100,000. If people wanted it, it's, uh, that's all they had available. That's how fast they rushed this thing out. It, they couldn't even make them fast enough. And eventually got like once a week, there would be a new shipment of them. And eventually they sold, I think, a 1.1 million units by the end of the year. But still, like that's, wow. That is, oh God. And to top it off, it's got the exact same controller from the PS1. Literally the exact same controller. The difference is the buttons on it are different. Uh, the buttons are not touch sensitive. That's the big difference with this one. It still has the same analog buttons, switch between analog and digital. Digital games were still a thing with the D-pad. So it still had some issues. The memory card wasn't white like that. It was actually black. <laughs> now, another cool thing about it was that it played DVD movies, which was, to be fair, a selling point. And this is the part that people get history wrong with. Uh, a lot of people said it was the cheapest DVD player on the market. Bullshit. In Japan, that's true. Because in Japan, DVD players will still go for four or five hundred bucks. So to have a DVD player and game console for three hundred bucks, not a bad deal. But like a month or two before it came out here in the US, they had DVD players at Walmart, Target, Kmart, Best Buy for 150 bucks. Some as low as $99. And guess what? They were better than the one in the PS2. Trust me, I had them. Though another selling point of the PS2 also with the sound chip in there. Sony's been always good with sound. 
Okay, that was their main priority, but they had a damn good sound chip in here. Uh, if you had a standard uh, analog input for your sound system, that's fine. But if you use that optical output, which is a laser uh, audio signal, okay? If you, ever use a, if you use a sound system by any kind, even a sound bar, they always have an optical input on the back of them now. And that's because you can uh, use anything on an optical sound bar, including your PC. Most PCs now have an optical out. So I don't use it. I, I like to, but I don't use it. But that's how you get sound out of this thing. And trust me, this thing had damn good 5.1 surround sound on there. Like, that, that thing about back in the day, we played our games on a sound system. We didn't play with headphones. <laughs> we hardly ever used headphones. We used, heads, we used a sound system. Now, the launch lineup was not the best. It had a decent launch lineup. I think the best part about it was EA having games released on the console because EA ditched Sega because of how bad the Saturn was. Well, Sega made up by that making the 2K series, which is, the, you know, NBA 2K, NFL 2K, stuff like that. So how do the games stack up? That's the question. But we're going to go over some launch titles as well as some of the best games. I'm not going to go all of them. There's a lot of great games on the PS2. Now, one more thing I have to bring up. Uh, you ever mentioned the PS2 to someone? Everyone would say, yeah, greatest console ever. 155 million units sold. Okay, well, what games are on it? Gran Turismo. God of War. Uh... Grand Theft Auto. Gotta love Grand Theft Auto. And that's as far as they'll get. Now, Grand Turismo is a great game, but there's two of them on there. Grand Turismo 3 and Grand Turismo 4. If on which ones, they won't know. God of War. There's God of War 1 and God of War 2. They might know that. GTA. They're definitely on GTA 3 Vice City and San Andreas. But they're also not going to tell you that they're released on PC and Xbox shortly after the PS2's launch. So... That's that. Now, I don't have a PS2 controller on standby. I got some PS3 controllers, but they don't work at the PC unless I mod them or something like that, and I'm not doing that. I just don't want to deal with it. <clears throat> so we're going to use my, uh, my, my, my Quandra Carbon, and we're going to play with that. So I've already got it set up. Let's go ahead and get started. So let's start with the very first game I ever played for the PS2, Wild Wild Racing. If it don't sound good, you're, you're in for a surprise. Come on, this is one of the launch titles, okay? We're going to do those first before we get the other games. Oh, yeah, get used to the load times. This, this takes way longer to load than the Dreamcast. Some games load fast, to be fair. The later ones do especially, but earlier ones, not so much. Some of these games have really long load times, by the way.
not bad, but it's not great either. audio might be a little too loud let me fix that there you go drop down 80 percent. okay so that was uh hey what's up so that was uh wow wow racing not a great game so to speak so we'll, we'll try something else so let's try dead or alive 2 hardcore another launch title Now, Dead or Alive is a uh, fighting game series. It's mostly hot chicks and the skinny, skippy outfits and shit like that. No, it's not that hardcore. They just call it that it's got extra shit in it from the Dreamcast version. Like I said, it's mostly hot chicks just fighting people. Shall I start? You can't stand in my way. Get ready. Why? And it's got a really dumbass story to go to as well. How dare you, Swindler? Get ready, fly! Dead or Alive is a great fighting game series. I don't want to fight. Let me go. Please leave, Hayabusa. I promised Hayate, I cannot let you die. I cannot let you go. Remember that the way of the Shinobi is a harsh one. Get ready. Fight! Don't you know I'm playing his wife, Bruce?
Ladies were the heroine. Get ready, fly! Yeah, I think it's soon enough. <laughs> That's dead or alive hardcore. Not exactly hardcore, but they just call it that because it's got extra content in there. It's basically that. All right, let's quit that one. So that was another launch title. Let's try another one. So we could try... I'm going to call Fantavision. This is another launch title. This one has something to do with fireworks. I can't... I think I understand how to play it a little bit. It's been a while since I tried it. It's weird. That's all I can say. Yeah. I Okay, I'll just skip this. <laughs> yeah, I said it's weird. It's really, really weird. Welcome to Fantavision. idea what the fuck is going on. <laughs> Alright, we're done with that. That was another launch title. Quit. Okay. Let's try another one. Let's try um let's try Dynasty Warriors 2. Now the first Dynasty Warriors game was a fighting game. 
The second one and up was the brawler. That's the one where you could just mow enemies down, buddy. Uh, it was pretty good at the time. It showed the power of the PS2 and how much stuff you could do with it. Although I'll get later why uh, this thing was a nightmare to code for. The Dynasty Warrior series is a really good series. It's more about just mowing enemies down left, right, and sideways. And I mean, hey, if you enjoy that, cool. Personally, I don't. I get bored of it pretty quickly, but I'll show it off. Bad intro. Here we go. This fight is mine. Supposedly, this is based on Japanese history. The Sony's pulled that ship at the PS3. So. Then all who believe wear my symbol upon their heads. Let them fight by my side. The Yellow Dragon is come. All right, let's go. Now, the graphics here might not look like much compared to the other games, but it makes up for it with the stuff that goes on screen.
this is pretty much the whole game. Alright, I'll stop. It's pretty that that's the whole game. You just mow down enemies over and over again, really. I mean, if you like that, cool. For me, I just I, I fall asleep after that. Right, let's try another game. Let's try Smuggler's Run. This is another launch title. This is also by Rockstar Games. This was shortly after Rockstar Games formed, by the way, I believe. This is one of their first games. Yeah, this is a game where you smuggle drugs across the border. Good old family friendly fun. you can drive and you don't care too much for rules and regulations. Oh, I don't. Those little low times get a little lengthy, by the way. Because you speed up after a while sometimes if you beat them enough times, but... Eh. Those are people started to care about the power of the console and the console itself. That's when this started. The sexual love tones, that's Keep when this going, shit started. Keep going. Faster, faster, faster. They always shout that at you, don't they? Keep it up, baby. You know you can do that. You may be an ugly thing, baby, but you drive that real nice. Not bad, baby. You can just... Here we go. Oh, man. I mean, it's not a bad game. I never beat it. I got, like, so far, and then I got my ass kicked. So it's got that rock star difficulty. Nothing to stress about. Just pick it up and drop it off. Sounds easy. We'll see. Next delivery, baby. Now to the next pickup. No rest for the wicked. Yeah, uh, Smuggler's Run only had two games, and that was it. This. I don't remember the second one. I don't remember what happened. I don't know. I'll have yesterday this time. Just pick it up 
And so far, the graphics of the PS2 are not holding up to that 10-core CPU they have. And to be fair, it's not a fast CPU, it's just, you know, 10 cores. I mean, the uh, the speed of the uh, processor is 295, 293 megahertz. You have violated immigration protocol number 751039. Yeah, we've seen enough. I'm not going to bore you guys with that. Okay, so that was that. Let's try another one. Let's try Midnight Club. This is Rockstar's other game. I think this is the better one, if you ask me. I'm pretty too. Now, the cool thing about this game is that you get two big open worlds to drive around in. So for a racing game, it's pretty cool. This is the same team that went on to make um, well, other stuff with Rockstar, obviously. Nah, we'll skip that video. Uh, screw it up. I think I have everything on lock. Now there's one cool mode in here. It's called Capture the Flag. We'll go ahead and do that. Uh, let me see. So in there clear. got that whole map it's not all of new york but it's pretty big size map and capture the flag is a lot of fun in this game it's probably the best mode and again as well as long load times show up so many other games are going pretty fast because i'm running on a fast pc No joke, when someone gets the flag, everybody goes after him. And they all smash into him and everything.
I haven't played this in a while. Kind of shows the power of the PS2 a little bit. It's still 30 frames per second. But other than that are alive, it's been nothing but 30 frames per second. So that 10 core processor is not really showing all that good at this point. I would say the Dreamcast was the better console this, by this point. It's okay, we're still at the launch titles. I didn't win that one. It's been a while since I played this. Oh, God. Anyway, it was Midnight Club. The campaign's fine, don't get me wrong. It's got some funny voice acting or stuff like that, but... I think the second game and the third one are a lot better, especially uh, Midnight Club LA. Okay, so we did that. So let's try something else. What else we got? We could do one more launch title. Just browse, make sure I got all the ones I wanted to show off first. So there's all that. Okay. So the last launch title was NASCAR 2001. Now, this was another selling point for the PS2. The Dreamcast did not have EA support, which is Electronic Arts. They didn't have their support. Uh, so the people didn't want to buy it because, oh, there's no EA. Even though Sega made their own stuff. So it was like, okay. But this is another selling point. So we'll show one of these games off. I'm showing this off. This is the one I played back at launch. So there's also NHL, there's NBA, NFL, all that stuff. So that's all on here as well. But if you see this, you see one sports game, you see them all. This one's got a really long load screen at the beginning. I clocked it earlier. I think it, I think it stopped at like 45 seconds or something like that. So I'm having fun looking at this screen. Yeah, that process is not looking all that impressive at this point. So we've had that every game we played so far, except for Dead or Alive, was 30 frames per second. And for a 10 core process, or even back then. It's not looking too good. EA Sports. There we go. It's in the game. Sports 
presents NASCAR 2001. Oh, the video went faster than it was supposed to. <laughs> That's probably the emulator. It's not how the game played. Uh, we'll do a quick race. Again with those load times. This isn't that big of a game either. I think it's only going to be like 300 megs. Not even that. Maybe it's closer to a gig, but still. And here's how they'll line up for today's race. The sound is good. I think the graphics are starting to show up here. This is 60 frames per second. So we're getting better.
bad. It's more impressive than the other stuff. That's all I can say. Okay, now we're going to get to the real stuff. So the following year was when they finally started putting the good stuff out. Now they put out... Let me see if I can play... Uh, what's the metal black? If I can get, if I can play it properly. It'll be a little tough with this controller, but let me see what I can do. Because that was one of the first games to come out the following year. Ooh, was it impressive. I might be able to. I just got to use the joystick for movement. Let me see. Like, this was when we got to see the power of the console. Because everything before this was like, okay. This is when it started to get good. Challenge. Sweet tooth. And we'll do summers. Things got nuts. No, I'm not playing well.
that, and then we said, they'll do the arcade control. But you can see what I'm making my point, though. This, that's impressive. But they, they're doing a lot of shit now, so just some stuff. See, it's starting to get better. So, okay, we're getting there. Quit that. But next on the scene was Gran Turismo 3. And this is where things got really impressive. This is when people started to say, holy shit. Like they really started to show that processor and what it can do if you really muscle with it. Like, seriously, after I got rid of my first PS2 when it crashed, this game made me want to get another one. I'll be fair. This made me say, holy shit. And the thing was, most Sony exclusives after this were 60 frames per second. Not all of them. There were some that were lower than that because they tried to push the envelope too far. the video before I get busted for copyright. <laughs> That's not in the hand of these games. Uh, we'll do our game. We'll do one track just to show it off. Yeah, look at this. This is them showing the power of the PS PS2. I gotta get everything unlocked for those all the same power. Look at that. that looks real. Can't argue with that.
that's impressive. That is undeniably impressive right there. That's where shit got good. But it doesn't stop there. There's more games than that. So let's boot up. Grand Theft Auto 3. This is another big selling title. This game really got PS2s off the shelf right here. That's my downside. Like, you get the launch titles... Take them or leave them. But you had to wait like a year, almost a year to get the good shit. mind this is when open world gaming really started to take off there were open world games before this don't get me wrong but this is where i started to take it to a whole new level this was arguably my favorite in the whole series too this and vice city but i think this one just holds just a little bit higher in my my book I don't think I have a save file on this yet. Yeah, load times weren't too bad with this game either. This game would load pretty quick for, her, for what it was. Here we go. Now, to be fair, the graphics are a bit lower than other games, but this was doing a lot of stuff. That's why the graphics are the way they are. Sorry, babe. I'm an ambitious girl. You're just small time. This is also where games really started to push cutscenes too a lot. I mean, I've been done before, but not like this. Liberty City is in shock today as the police and emergency services deal with the aftermath of a devastating attack on a police convoy this morning. As yet, no details have been released about the prisoners being transferred in the convoy, and no group has claimed responsibility. The convoy left police headquarters early this morning for a routine transfer of felons to Liberty Penitentiary. The attack took place on the Callahan Bridge, leaving few witnesses and the bridge itself severely damaged. Some of the convicts are thought to have perished in the explosion that followed the initial attack. Revelations as to the professionalism of the attack struck police hours afterward, when identification of the missing felons were further hampered by an attack by computer hackers on police headquarter databases. With the Porter Tunnel Project falling behind schedule, this disaster leaves Portland isolated from the rest of the city. Get lost. 
begins. There were people who ran out and bought a PS2 just for this game alone. I remember. It was that popular. I know a place on the edge of the red light district where we can lay low. But my hands are all messed up, so you better drive, brother. right here. Let's get off the street and find a change of clothes. Yeah, massive living, breathing, open world. We didn't see that yet. This is one of the first games to do that. I know this guy. He's connected. He's made for you. Me and him go back, so I can probably get this to work. Come on, let's get on. Vehicle damage? Wow. Again, the graphics aren't that impressive to be fair, but they did a lot with them. This is Luigi's Club. Let's go around the back and use the service door. And Haze Effect is called Trails, by the way. They put that on by default. You can turn it off. I'm just going to leave it on because that's the way the game looked. So it's not the emulator doing that. That's the game itself. And that is in the PC version too, by the way. Wait here, man, while I go in and talk to Luigi. Say hello to Eight Ball, ladies. Eight Ball's got some business upstairs. Well, maybe you could do me a favor. One of my girls needs a ride, so grab a car and pick up Misty from the clinic, then bring her back here. Remember, no one messes with my girls. So keep your hands on the wheel. If you don't mess this up, maybe there'll be more work for you. Now get out of here. Now let's go pick up Misty. we go we'll stop it there so that was Grand Theft Auto 3 great game I played it before like twice on stream I still love this one but we'll do one more to finish it off and it's probably a title that really will blow your socks off a little bit and this is the one I think a lot of people were looking forward to it's still one of the biggest sellers of the PlayStation 2 Now, this is at when we had the big RPG, like, explosion of games from several years before, and this is the game people were really waiting on.
It is when they're trying to push for facial animations also. It's the f one of the first times they can actually do that. Before this, everything was just... And now it's actual facial animations. Final Fantasy X. This was a big seller. And this came out one year after the PS2 launched. Okay. Unfortunately, we got to switch to that cutscene one more time, so bear with me here. Yeah, see, I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't skip it. <laughs> so hopefully it goes fast. Yeah, th this is what they were showing off art design like no, like nothing else. This is also done by a new, uh, a new team. That made this game. The old team wasn't here for this one. The old team, after they made Final Fantasy IX, they moved on to other stuff. You gotta hand it to the design team. They, this is when they really pushed for art design. And that's something we just don't have anymore. I mean, you got it with some Asian games, to be fair, and some games from, you know, from Riot and stuff like that, but it's not like what it used to be. Listen to my story. This may be our last chance. Look at the logo again. This is a different logo, though. We'll just play the opening level and I'll show you if we pass that, and that's it. Then we'll call it. I say this for last because it takes the longest to start up. Yeah, I'm happy. Good luck tonight. Nothing to worry about. If everyone watching is gonna get his name Where's wrong. Goal? I'll uh, do this. That will mean it was for you, okay? <laughs> what seat? He's walking the front row. Fits from the right. Got it. No prop. Please. All righty. 
Me too! <laughs> Take it easy. Well, gotta go. Cheer for me. Two, three... She just had a blitz! Hey, I, I got a game to play. Then teach us after. Maybe tonight, um... Well, you can't tonight. I mean, tomorrow. Promise? Promise. Look at this. This is the PlayStation 2. You can tell this is when they really tried to get a lot out of that processor. in a coffee shop running away from home when I heard the news. Our hero, checked, gone, banished into thin air. <laughs> My dad must have been his biggest fan. I knew how sad he'd be. Heck, we all were that day. Zanar, I says to myself, what are you thinking? I went running straight back home. We sat up talking about Jack all night. through sorry hey I'm gonna be late hey let go of me this is also where their CGI team got really good
are you doing here? I was waiting for you. What are you talking about? It begins. What? Don't cry. Is that we called it sin? Sin? So are the rest of us. These ones don't matter. We cut through. And it's a turn-based RPG. some damage.
expected. Huh? Give me a break, man. And I'm stopping it there. Okay. So, PS2, great console. I wasn't happy with it at first, but once they started doing the good stuff, I was kind of happy with it. I was pissed off because uh, people should talk to Dreamcast just because the PS2 was announced. But to be fair, the PS2 was still a great console. I hate the fact that goddamn disk drive kept fucking breaking. But still, great console, and there's so many great games on there. I just, we didn't even touch the tip the iceberg yet. Okay? There's way more than there. There's just Jack, the Jack and Dexter series. There's the Wretched and Clank series. There's the Sly Cooper series. There's also God of Wars 1 and 2. Twist the Metal Black. Twist the Metal Head On. Uh, there's Wipeout Fusion. There's Midnight Clips 1, 2, and 3. The list goes on and on. There's the Kingdom Hearts games 1 and 2 and, re, and uh, Rechanged Memories. There's so many good games on this thing. I mean, literally, you can find a lot of them. So now the question is, how do you play this stuff? Okay, well, 
a bit of bad bad news on that one. Uh, unfortunately, to get this stuff running on PC is a bitch and a half. So you got to run an emulator called PCSX2, okay? It's not easy to get running, okay? Because first and foremost, you need to get the BIOS files even to run the damn thing. And the BIOS files are a lot, like this many. You need all of them to run the fucking thing. Okay, if you're missing one, it won't run. If you try to click load game, it won't load. You need them all because you need to run the uh, the OS in the background to run the console. If there's no OS, the games won't launch, period. So that's the first major problem with that. Even then, you still got to go to the video settings, and you got to set things up here, and you got to set all this shit up. Set up for your graphics card, all kinds of crazy shit. You really got to do a lot to get this thing running properly. Once you get it running, it's fine. But even then, you got emulation settings, and you got all this shit. Like, you got to set up... The EEIOP, the VUs, the GS, the GS Windows Speed Axe, Game Fix. Look at these Game Fixes you got to do. <laughs> okay. Now, now, why is this shit all in here? Okay, remember that 10-core CPU I mentioned? It's basically 10 CPUs in one. Okay? And it's a bitch to get running. How so? Well, here's the reason why. Um, with every console that gets released... Uh, they usually give you a manual with the, with, with the dev kit for developers. And it's just, just like one simple manual, like maybe like 40, 50 pages. Not too big. Just something to explain how the console works, how to up your games for it, so on and so forth. This had a stack of manuals about this high from the table up. Okay? And none of it makes any fucking sense to get to the eighth book, which explains how this, the third book works, and then the puzzle starts to unravel. Okay, it's a bitch to get running properly. Once you get it running, you're fine. It's so much so they actually have presets here to get this thing working properly. It's just... <laughs> I mean, let's go to Game Fix. Look at this. What do you got here? We got the... For Digimon Rumble Arena 2, you got to fix the FPU compare hack. Okay, what about this? Tales of Destiny. You got to have another FPU multiply hack for that. Let's go down the list here. Uh, let's see. Okay, so you got to do a delay VIF1 stalls. For the VIF-1 FIO for SOCOM 2 HUD and the Spy Hunter loading hang. Oh, God. <laughs> the VU-1 bed hack. Avoid constant recumption for Scarface. The world is yours. I mean, yeah. It's it's just a pain in the ass. It's just... These are a favor. Just don't bother. You're better off getting a regular PS2, getting an HDMI adapter, and getting this shit running that way, okay? You're better off just doing that. The other option, of course, is on both the PS4 and PS5, there's some PS2 games on there. Uh, I wouldn't say there's a lot, but there's some. Last I checked, there are mostly JRPGs, but you can look on your PS4, PS5, and go to the uh, digital storefront. You go to the PS2 section, you'll see what games they got there. Uh, some you might like, some you might not. I didn't like the selection personally. I thought Sony could have done a better job, but, you know. It's just one of those. So hopefully one day they get a proper emulator that just runs easily. But until then, just any other way will do, you know.